to calm down. He tried to run away with his broken leg. I guess he has a broken leg and his wing. He hurt himself bad somehow. He's trying to run away, but he can't, and he's just going to make it worse if he moves, so I'm just trying to calm him down and keep take for them to get out here oh no 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 he's trying to go away oh no 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 little guy no no oh my gosh oh my gosh to calm down he tried to run away with his broken leg i guess he has a broken leg and his wing he hurt himself bad somehow he's trying to run away but he can't and he's just gonna make it worse if he moves so i'm just trying to calm him down and keep I got him. I got him. I don't know how my dog's gonna act, but I got him. He's wrapped up in my sweater. We're going home. You're coming with me, birdie. You're okay. I know. I know. You're worried. I know. He's freaking out a little bit. All right. Well, I got a long walk home, so I'm gonna record a little. Oh man, his pupils. His pupils are staying kind of dilated. That's not good. Man. Oh man, I don't know guys. This isn't looking good at all. Dang it. And there's blood in here. Like, for real, for real. There's blood right there. There's a little blood on the bread over there. There's some blood over there. Oh, just make it through the night, buddy. Just make it through the night. Look at Taz. He's so sad. What is it, buddy? He wants to play with him. That's what it's what his problem is. But um, I can't. I, I can't let you, bud. What is it, Taz? What is it? You want to play with the birdie? Taz, you want to play with the birdie? No, <gasps> Taz, you want to play with the birdie? He's so sad. I think he can, like, feel his energy. Taz, is he gonna die? Can you tell he's gonna die? Oh, you look so sad. Oh, he's shaking. Buddy, why are you shaking? Come here. What's going on? Why are you shaking? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay, buddy. It's all right. got something a little different for the vlog today guys I found this bird this uh, European pigeon poor thing it has a broken wing I found it on the side of the road I'll probably put the clips um, from when I found it it's the clips won't look very good because it was on my phone what I've filmed but he's not doing too good he's in pretty bad shape he has like a broken foot and a broken leg um, I don't know if he was attacked by an animal or if he fell out of the tree, or he hit the tree, or got in a fight with another bird or something, he won't eat. I gave him some bread. He looks really, really tired. He keeps, you know, trying to keep his eye open. But he's so tired, he just keeps closing. And then when he does, you know, close his eye all the way and sleeps for like a second, his little beak starts shaking. He starts twitching and stuff. And I don't know if that's just because he's in so much pain, but he's a beautiful, beautiful bird. I've never seen a pigeon so beautiful. Usually you think of pigeons, you're like, eh, it's a pigeon. But like this one, it's like brown and white. It's got a gray head. It's just, uh, it was just sitting there in front of the church. And I just felt, I felt like I had to do something. I walked past him when I was walking my dog. And then on the way back, I saw that he was still there. And then I was like, oh man, he must be injured. So then I came back later to see if he was still there. And he was. Um, so I called around. I tried to find like rehabilitation centers, wild life um, animal centers to you know uh, pick them up but um, none of them take the European this European type of bird so the last resort was the animal control and I don't know if they're gonna euthanize him or you know if they're gonna fix him but either way as long as you know he's put down humanely 
that's all that matters. Because if he stood there, he would have just, it would have been torture. He would have probably froze to death, starved to death, or an animal would have got him. You know, insects and bugs. I mean, it just would have been bad. And I just, I feel so bad for this little guy. I felt so bad I got him, um, I gave him my my awesome sweater. But look at how beautiful he is. Poor guy. Okay, I'll leave you alone. He's like, hey, I was falling asleep. Poor thing. I'm just, ah, uh, man. God put this in my heart. I'm very sensitive when it comes to animals. It doesn't matter what kind. I just have to help. So, um, like I said, if they have to uh, euthanize him, that will be really sad. But if they can fix his wing and his leg, I don't know if I can. I mean, why not adopt him and help him, you know, go back into his natural habitat? I don't know. I just want to do something, guys. Like, I can't help it. I feel like this. This is just who I am. <sighs> I'm going to let him sleep, though. I'm going to let him close his eyes, and hopefully, hopefully he'll be okay. I'm just hoping he doesn't close his eyes and then doesn't wake back up. That would be awful. I mean, it wouldn't be awful. I guess it would be good, because at least he wouldn't be in pain anymore. Because I know he's in pain. He was twitching and stuff, and... Uh, the walk here was rough because I had to bundle him up like without hurting him even more than he was already hurt and he kept moving and it was it was rough but I got him in my dog knows something's up he's just laying there what is it Taz what's going on you know something's up that's why he's under the chair I tried feeding him but he won't eat he's probably just in too much pain Mm. Poor little guy. See, look, he's twitching again. He closed every time he closes his eyes to like really go to sleep. He starts twitching, and I feel like it's just because he starts to really feel the pain. Poor thing. All right, well, I'll let you know uh, what happens. Well, you know, I'm, I'm sure I already put all the other clips in there of, you know, how I found him and when I picked him up and all that. Anyway, every every creature matters, guys. Every animal matters. Really. Gosh, this vegan life is really taking over. <laughs> like, it's really taking over me. And I love it. I want to do as much as I can. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, guys. I'm pretty bummed. I'm so sensitive when it comes to stuff like this. Um, so, um, apparently Animal Control, they closed at four. I called at like three something. It was definitely before four. Um, and um, I guess it's too late um, for them to come get the bird. So I'm gonna keep him overnight. Um, I'm gonna, you know, make sure he's nice and warm. <laughs> I'll put some, uh, I'll put another, like, blanket or something in there for him. I'm, I got water in there and some bread. I don't, I don't, I'm not a, I don't, I've never had a bird, so I don't know how to take care of one. I don't know what to do, but, um, I'm really bummed out because, like, I really wanted to do something, um, positive for animals, for the world. I just... I just wanted to make a difference, at least in one animal's life. Um, and I'm just really sad because he's going to be in pain all night now. And there's nothing I can do. And for all I know, he could be bleeding internally. Like, I... I don't know what to do, so I'm just going to keep going online and calling different places and seeing if anybody can come get him or her. Um, they said I can call animal control tomorrow. It's Mother's Day, so I don't even know if they're going to be open. And I don't even know if they're going to take the bird. So, um, I don't know what to do at this point. I need help. I'm going to go on Google and try my best to find someone to help. Maybe I can go online and Google and see if I can find a way to help the bird myself. Home remedies? I, I don't know. 
I just, um, I feel really helpless. And, um, it's just been a really rough day for me. It really has, like, I really, I really want to be friends with certain people in my life. But, I don't feel like they want to be my friend as much as I want to be their friend. And, friends is like a two-way street, you know, if, if I send you a text message and you don't text me back, it's like, dang, bruh. You don't even care about me. I see exactly what you're doing. I see where you're at and know what you're doing. I know you got time to text, you know, the guys that you have crushes on that you're you're into or, you know, whatever. Or even, you know, your parents. You'll text your parents. Like, I'm not saying I'm your parent. I'm not your girlfriend or anything like that. I'm not your boyfriend. But, like, if I'm your friend, I'm your friend. Like, just text me back. And... If you don't want a relationship with me, then just like leave, leave me alone. Then just like, like just just be honest and just tell me like, look, I don't know, I don't know if we can be friends anymore because I don't like your vibe anymore. I don't, I just don't like you no more. Whatever. But like, don't string me along. I really don't like that because a lot of times in relationships, boyfriend and girlfriend are, you know, dating and stuff, people can string each other along, but friends can do that to each other too, and that's really messed up. Really. So, like, just tell me, are we friends or are we not? And if, if we're not cool, then just tell me. Like, just be honest. I can take it. Just be honest. So, anyways, that, like, and that, it's not just one person, it's more than one person. Seriously. And it's supposed to be people that I'm supposed to be close to, you know? But like I said, after this whole hospital thing, man, it really opened up my eyes. Because the people that were supposed to be there for me, the people that I thought were going to be there for me, they weren't. And it's really, really opened my eyes. And I don't know if it's because I'm changing my life. I'm becoming more um, of a... I'm being less hypocritical as a Christian and I'm staying more true to my morals and values that I learned growing up as a Christian and I'm not judging nobody you know what I mean like do you I don't care do you like I'm not judging you only God can judge you like the, your relationship with God that's between you guys if you're my friend you're my friend and I accept you no matter what flaws and all and I feel like people aren't doing that with me they're not accepting me with my flaws and all. I feel like they're thinking that... I don't know what they're thinking, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. But... It sucks. Because... I ask God to weed out people in my life that I don't need. And he's doing it. And I'm not liking the people he's weeding out. Because it's like... These are people that were supposed to be my friends. Like that... That I'm supposed to be really cool with. And um, people that... I'm going to be honest. People that call me their best friend... Yeah, if you feel like I'm talking about you, I probably am. And I want to talk to you about it, but I don't know how. I don't know how because every time I reach out, you don't reach back out to me. So how can I talk to somebody that doesn't reach back out? Like, I'm not going to send it to you in a text message. I need to talk to you. I don't know, man. But... Anyways, it's just, that's what set my day off. And then, like, I got some family issues happening, too. It's, like, it's crazy. Because my health is getting better. I'm feeling better. I'm doing better in life. But the people around me, they're just not here for me. Like, my support system, I don't know where it went. My sister, though. My sisters, they got my back no matter what. I love you guys. And thank you so much for being here for me. And Sharia, girl, I was not expecting you to be that person that was there for me as much as you've been. Because we're close, but we've never been close like that to where I would just expect her to be there for me. You know what I mean? I, I never expected her to, to go out of her way for me. And to help pick me up when I'm down, when I was down. And I just got to say, girl, I love you. And you're my best friend. 
You're a true friend, and I appreciate you. Enough of that. Back to the bird. Um, I had to change the subject because I was just, like, too emotional. I'm way too sensitive when it comes to animals. But, um, I got this bird for the next, I don't know, night. We'll see how this little birdie does. Um, hopefully I'll get somebody to come out and get him very soon. This is one of those times where I'm like, I still wish I worked at the veterinarian clinic as a vet tech because we have all the phone numbers there. Um, I'm going to try to reach out to them and see if they got any phone numbers that I can call for the bird to pick up or if I can, excuse me, or if I can drop off a bird or whatever. Um, yeah, so this is my Saturday. Um, not doing anything except trying to save a life. Trying to save an animal. I'm going hard in this vegan thing, huh? Anyway, that's it. I'll show one more shot of the the pigeon here. Hi, buddy. Oh, hello. I don't want to bug him too much, but I do want you guys to see. I don't remember if I showed already. Let me see, buddy. How you doing? You okay? Aww. Look how beautiful he is. Yeah, I'll cover you back up. I'll cover you up. <sighs> That's in my really good sweater, too. I really like this sweater, but it's all I had on me at the time. Literally had to take the, the sweater off my back for this little guy. But I would do it again. Material things, it's whatever, you know. I really care about animals. I really do. I pray to God that we'll find something for you, little guy or girl. Alright, that's enough for this vlog. Um, I'm going to close this a little bit so he has some darkness so he can close his eyes. There we go. <sighs> uh, anyways, hopefully I'll have a more positive clip after this one, yeah? Alright, positive vibes, positive vibes, positive vibes. I'm just, I'm trying, I'm trying to stick with that positive vibes thing. It's so hard to stay positive when people around you aren't so positive, you know? Especially when it's family members. Because friends, you can, they come and go. But family is like, it's for life. Anyway. Hang loose. Positive vibes. Stay positive. Keep your head up. Chill zone. That's all I'm doing tonight is chilling.